Hey everyone, it's me again, Brittany, and I'm here today to film sort of a different video. Obviously, I am in a car. This is actually my dad's truck, not my car, so yeah. Um, I was gonna make this a mukbang originally, but I kind of messed that up because I already ate today and I'm not hungry. So I was gonna get Starbucks, but the sun's getting real low and I won't have any more lighting to do this video, so I just kind of said, fuck it. And here I am doing this discussion video. So I want to discuss a couple things, just kind of touch on them so that I don't ever really have to talk about it again. But the first one being booktube consumerism, in particular my consumerism on booktube. Just like my thoughts on it, uh, just to let you guys know sort of like where I stand with all that. So yeah, and then after that I kind of want to talk about drama why I don't really respond to drama, why just in general, like my opinions and thoughts on like negativity on booktube. So yeah, uh, let's kind of just jump in because I don't know if my battery will last if I talk for forever. So also the lighting. Um, so on booktube consumerism, I've been getting a ton of comments lately, just kind of asking me why I buy so many books. I got these from the start, honestly. I got like very not odd, I guess. Like, I guess people are just curious, but questions being like, how do you afford so many books? Why do you buy hardcovers? Hardcovers are so expensive. Just sort of asking me why I would spend that much money on books. Some of them are kind of rude, just being like, uh, what kind of job do you even have? Why aren't you in debt? Like, why are you in debt? Or something like that. And I'm like, okay, first of all, I don't mind when things are put in a polite manner, but I those rude ones specifically really get to me because the thing is so my book buying my personal experience with book buying i buy a lot of books i do i get almost every single book i own on sale in some way or another either i buy it on book outlet which has their books on a ridiculously low price or I buy them on thrift books, which is a like website that lets you go through thrift shops and buy your books. I buy them from thrift stores. Uh, I always get them on some kind of sale. It's very rare for me to just kind of like even go on Amazon and buy my books. And Amazon is still cheaper than like normal book prices. But even after that, like it's just not really anyone's concern. The thing is, is with my personal book buying, I'm never buying more than I can handle. Like, obviously, TBR-wise, it's a little bit more than I can handle, but budget-wise, wallet-wise, it's not more than I can handle, and it's not really anything that anyone should actually have an opinion on. And I know that sounds rude, but the thing is, is I don't want to be judged on something that I'm having fun with. And I would understand if this was coming from a place of concern, like, oh my gosh, I'm really worried about you, <laughs> you're buying way too many books. And in that case, I understand, because I know that people think that maybe booktube is making me buy it, like, me feeling that I need to buy all these books as a content creator, but I don't feel that need. For me, buying books is strictly a passion. I love collecting books. I've always loved collecting books ever since I was little and now that I've had my own money to buy my own books, it's just grown. I like to buy even more books and spend more money on something that I love and it is more of a collection for me than <laughs> a reasonable library in some cases. It's not like a booktube made me buy it situation where I'm like all these other creators are buying so many books I have to keep up. So don't worry in that sense. I. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I'm doing this for me. I'm not doing it for anyone else. I'm not doing this to please you guys. I'm not doing it because hauls tend to be the most popular videos. I'm not doing it for any of those reasons other than the fact that I love buying books. And I don't want you guys to feel like you need to buy a lot of books because of me. That's another thing that I really want to address. Just because I buy a lot of books, just because I'm able to spend money on books does not mean that I want you to buy this many books. Everyone has their own taste. Everyone has their own limits. Everyone has their own collections. Like, we all have different things that we love and that we're gonna spend money on. We all have different budgets. We all have different, like, we're all in different places in our lives and we all know how much money we can spend on things. So never feel the need to buy more books because I'm buying books. I, I just don't want people to leave my videos feeling like they need to go out and buy a whole bunch of books. Especially to any new booktubers that watch me. If you watch me and you think like, oh my gosh, I need to buy a ton of books to be like her. Don't. 
don't. <laughs> like, being a booktuber does not mean you have to buy a bunch of books. I buy books because I love it. But as a overall requirement, it's completely unnecessary. You have to decide how you're gonna spend your money and never go into debt over something like this. Never buy more than your wallet can handle. Uh, <laughs> Maybe not more than you can handle. So that's my next kind of topic. There was one particular comment that really stuck out to me and It was first of all someone speaking about me in the third person Which is always annoying in the comments because I read all of my comments but they were like does she even read all of these books and I mean, maybe it's not something for me to really get offended by but I was because at the end of the day I like I'm going to get to these books, and if that's frustrating to you, if you're annoyed because I'm buying more books than I can read in a week, in a month, I'm sorry, that's not really what I signed up for. When I make a haul, I'm not telling you I'm gonna read these right away. I hope I'm at kind of the same angle. My card was full, and luckily I had my laptop, so where was I? Uh, oh yeah, okay, so when I make hauls, I never specify in the beginning how long it's gonna take me to read all those books. I haul books because I bought books and I want to show you guys like the books that I buy especially because in situations like hauls there's a lot of books and I don't know what I'm gonna read next so you guys commenting telling me the books that you've read and what you really loved from the books that I haul that really helps me choose my next book so that's one of the reasons that I haul in general so getting comments like that like does she even read all these books trust me eventually I will there is not a time limit on when I have to read the books that I haul. I don't have to buy a book and then read it within that month. I don't have to buy a book and read it within that year. There are plenty of books that I bought three, four years ago that I've currently been trying to get through right now. And I like doing that. I, I like having options. That's another reason why my TBR is maybe larger than what other people enjoy. But I like to have options when I'm going to read the next book. I like to look through my shelf and decide based on my mood what the next book I read is. And if I don't like the beginning of that, I can choose another book because there's plenty that I haven't read. So getting comments like that, just does she even read all these books? Yeah, I do. I don't read them that month. It's just really annoying in those kinds of situations. Like you don't get to judge me on my book buying. You don't get to judge me on how long it takes me to read a book, and you don't get to judge me on any of my life decisions, really, because I'm not spending your money. You don't have any input on that. I love you guys. I love my subscribers, but there's certain things that are really only my business, <laughs> and I share a lot with you guys, so I can definitely understand where some of that confusion might lie, but I feel like my... my subscribers that really love me, my subscribers that follow all my videos, aren't the ones making these comments. They're normally people that are just popping in, that maybe saw my video being promoted on someone else's channel or something like that, and they saw one video and they thought, I'm gonna comment. <laughs> I get these way more on my haul with like the most views. I think it's like the I have no, no self-control haul. Which I guess that was just asking to be talked about. You have no self-control? Do you need self-control? Like, I, no, I don't. I, I just don't really have a lot of self-control when it comes to buying books. I love collecting books, and if I see it for a good price, I'm gonna buy it basically instantly. Don't worry. Don't worry about my wallet. Don't worry about what I'm gonna read it. I swear I'm gonna get to it, and I swear that I'm not going into debt over any of these books. So... That's kind of all I want to say on the booktube thing, on the consumerism thing. I respect people that maybe can keep their TBRs lower. I can really respect people that don't haul a lot of books because that's impressive to me. But I also don't really have a problem with my book buying. And if I don't have a problem with my book buying, then no one else should have a problem with it either. So now on just drama on YouTube, I don't normally comment on it. And by drama, I feel like lately there's just been a lot of random issues that come up valid issues and I can completely understand why people comment on these things and maybe make entire videos about them. I did want to mention that the only reason that I don't comment on them, don't make videos about them, don't seem very involved in that side of booktube is because personally I don't deal well with a lot of negativity around me. I just I get really down about everything if one aspect of my life is negative. And for me, booktube, I'm still trying to keep very positive. I want this experience to be 
amazing for me. I love doing this. I love talking about books. I love hauling books. I love, I love doing all this. And I don't like that there's like new issues every week. It's something that I completely understand because, I mean, recently, if you guys don't have a book Twitter, you might not have seen it, but there was just kind of an explosion about this online forum where people go to discuss booktubers and they're basically being quite negative and saying very mean things nothing's constructive it's not really helping anyone and it blew up and i understand why it blew up there was a ton of amazing booktubers on there that are getting slammed and shamed and they're doing their best guys we're all doing our best and the one thing that I've learned being here on booktube is you really can't please everyone. I can try, they can try, we all try really hard to be really nice and to get out content that you guys are gonna love while also staying true to ourselves and making content that we love. We're trying really hard, but you can't please everyone. There's always gonna be someone at in the comments of my videos that have something negative to say. There's always gonna be someone in other people's videos that have something negative to say. We're all different. And I mean, personally, I was raised differently and I don't act on my own judgments on people. Like if I see something I don't like, I normally don't tell those people because I know it'll hurt them. But you know, we're all raised differently. So you can't please everyone. And this guru gossip thing is proof of that, complete proof. It's frustrating to see that we can all love each other so much, we can love our subscribers so much, we can love each other so much, we can make friends, and there's still so many judgments that are put on us, or just dumb things that people do and dumb things people say, and there's always gonna be some kind of negativity and drama that people pay attention to. I don't normally respond to it. This is kind of gonna be my only real discussion video where I touch on these things because I think that negativity breeds negativity, so if we all sit around talking about it, it might bring more negativity, if that makes any sense. It's just like the law of attraction. So if I'm being negative, if I'm talking about something negative, then I think more negativity will come to me, and that is why I don't really touch on it. That's why I kind of ignore it whenever I can, and I try to focus really on the good sides of this. I try to focus on the fact that I've made incredible friends. I have an amazing, amazing group of subscribers. I know it sounds like I'm complaining a lot in this video, but I really love you guys. I found some amazing books through BookTube. I, I'm, I I found like a little niche, a little home that is perfect for me. And I love all of that. And yes, there's always gonna be a downside. There's always gonna be something that someone said wrong or something to make drama about. And while I understand it, while I will always stand beside the people that I think are being kind and good and don't deserve any kind of negativity, I'm not normally gonna respond to it just because as I said if I'm negative in this one aspect of my life where I love it so much I will draw this negativity into the rest of my life being negative in one area makes me want to be negative about my work about my friends about school about like all dumb things that have nothing to do with where the negativity originally started but that I will still be negative about <laughs> so yeah that's kind of my thoughts on drama I understand that people like to respond to it I think it can be a healthy coping mechanism so I understand and I watch those videos I like them I support my friends and the people that I love but yeah I don't normally comment on it that doesn't mean I don't know what's happening but like still uh, that's kind of it for this video I hope it made sense when I kind of start to vent my train of thought just disappears so I'm sorry as a recap I buy books and I buy a lot of them I don't know when I'm gonna read them but I swear I will just you know don't make me feel bad about it don't make anyone feel bad about anything, actually. That should be the entire lesson in this video. Just don't judge people on things that they can't change or, I mean, yeah, definitely never judge someone on something they can't change. But in general, if you're gonna criticize someone in their comments, in a forum, on Twitter, on Instagram, if you're gonna criticize anyone, just think to yourself first that it takes a lot of courage to do this kind of stuff. It takes a lot of courage to get in front of a camera and talk about things you love and that if you're not helping someone by making this criticism you shouldn't be making it at all because I don't know why do you want to hurt people <laughs> there's definitely something wrong with people if they don't want to help and they just want to hurt 
I guess that's my recap. So yeah, I'm sorry this wasn't a mukbang. I'm sorry this was more serious. I know that people don't like to hear me complain, but I swear this is probably one of my only videos that I'll ever make like this. So yeah. <laughs> My name's Brittany, I make videos Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays most of the time, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Oh, one last thing that I kind of wanted to touch on, on consumerism. Rhiannon made an incredible video about this, so I'm actually going to link that down below. I think that she explained everything very well, but I also wanted to make a note of it in my video. Um, a big reason why you shouldn't really judge people on how many books they buy, and if it is poor impulse or anything like that, is because, as Rhiannon said in her video, some people use it as a coping mechanism. Some people do it in times of distress. This is what makes them feel better, to buy books. And sometimes they're ashamed of it afterwards. I know I've been where, like, you get a whole bunch of packages in the mail and you're like, wow, I really spent that much money. And for them to already feel ashamed of themselves and then to have subscribers or just random people on the internet comment on it as well is not good for anyone. So that's just another thing to think of if you're ever gonna make a comment on someone's book buying. This isn't saying that you should support people that buy a lot of books. Or, like, that is not that kind of video. It's really just me saying, like, some people buy a lot of books. Don't be rude. Don't be rude in any aspect of your life. <laughs> Could you imagine? I would never have to make a video like this. No one would ever have to make a video like this if everyone would just stop being rude. <laughs> Wild. <laughs> okay.